Four family members of Alabama's Secretary of Law Enforcement have been indicted on federal charges linked to BP claims fraud. Spencer Collier's son, brother, ex-sister-in-law, and his nephew are all named in the indictment. Federal prosecutors say all four made fraudulent claims because of the oil spill. Local 15's Derek Rose is live from downtown Mobile, and Derek, the governor's office is responding today. It is, Andrea, and you know, we've been uh, spending most of the day trying to get common reaction from the key players in this case, that being the attorneys for some of the defendants in this case, as well as the U.S. Attorney's Office. Very few comments, but there is one office commenting publicly, that is the governor's office, as you mentioned. Uh, we've been left to search through this indictment, this 10-page indictment, to get some answers, and what we've been able to find is that uh, the time periods of this investigation have spanned across uh, a, a period between 2010 and 2000. 2011, and at different times, this investigation focused individually on Spencer Collier's son, his brother, his former sister-in-law, as well as his nephew. Now, Spencer Collier himself is not named in this indictment, and as far as we understand, is not under investigation. His office, as the Secretary of Law Enforcement and Homeland Security, is appointed by the governor's office, and the governor's press office did release a statement today commenting, telling us, quote, the gover Governor Bentley has the utmost trust and respect in Spencer Collier. He's an excellent cabinet director and has served the governor's administration well through the stream through the streamlining of our state law enforcement functions governor bentley will continue to support secretary collier during this difficult time now each member of spencer collier's family has already been to court and they have all pleaded not guilty to the charges in this case however if they are convicted they face a combined 150 years in federal prison and a two million dollar fine live downtown i'm derek rose local 15 news